Welcome on into another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com and I thank you for watching, liking, subscribing to this channel. If you haven't done so, please do so right now. Do want to do a wrestling video, a TNA Impact wrestling video, talking about what happened last night. I mean, if you were tuning in to Pop, expecting Impact live, you know, 9 o'clock here on the East Coast, you uh, didn't get it. Uh, you, you didn't uh, get it. Um, you know, and I just want to give you my thoughts here. There were techni technical difficulties. And now, you know, this is not directly towards, it's not directed towards anyone. Just saying my feelings on the matter. Ever since last night's unfortunate mistake with TNA and Pop TV, I've been reading a lot of comments from quote-unquote passionate TNA fans saying, like, us, oh, screw Pop TV, or Pop TV is trying to sabotage TNA's ratings by doing this on purpose. Now, TNA Wrestling has, you know, been on cable TV well over 10 years. And during those years, what happened last night never happened before. Now, this is one mistake, which was out of TNA and basically Pop TV's hands. And now fans want to throw the network that chose to pick them up when no one else would and wants to throw them under the bus. It was reported, I think, later on uh, last night that severe storms in the Atlanta area were the cause uh, of the problems that Pop TV had at the control center. You know, um, you know from what I've been reading, looking at weather.com, there were severe storms in that area. Uh, yes, what happened last night was very bad, but what can you do when Mother Nature strikes? Pop TV admitted to the problems, and, uh, and their employees worked hard throughout the night when I'm certain many of them wanted to be home with their families, but they worked as hard and long as they could to fix the problem and still broadcast... The whole show in its entirety with little to no commercials replay. We as fans should be tipping our hat to those men and women because they could have just delayed the show until the next day, but they didn't. They didn't, and they gave us fans what we wanted at the end of the day. Now I bet some of the same fans that wanted to throw Pop TV under the bus. We'll be the first one saying next week, don't forget to watch Impact Wrestling on Pop TV. Come on, guys. It was just something that happened. Give those guys a break. Things happen in this world that can't be controlled right away. Let's just get a grip, shall we? Until next time.